ברוך אתה ה' אלוהינו מלך העולם שהכל נהיה בדברו. Some people remember everything. Others are forgetful. Most of us are probably in between. We'd love to have a better memory, to remember many more things. When you study something, you'd like to remember it, of course. But yet, if you think about it, forgetting isn't so bad either. Because if you'd remember everything, you'd also remember the difficult moments in your life, the displeasures that you had, or maybe something much worse. And that would be in your mind constantly. So the fact that we forget certain things isn't so bad. But on the other hand, it seems not to depend upon us. Some of us have better memories. Others don't have such good memories. Even though it is good to remember what George Santayana, the great philosopher, said, that those societies that forget what history taught them are condemned to repeat the same errors. So that remembering is very good. I remember also a saying of a former president of Venezuela, Luis Herrera Campins. He used to say that his mother said that to anticipate the hurricane, and we just had a hurricane, is to suffer it twice. So you shouldn't anticipate either. In any event, forgetting and remembering seems to be really out of our hands. If that is so, how can the Torah tell us Zachor et asher asalech amalek. You have to remember what the Amalekites did to you on your way out of Egypt. But it also tells you, for instance, don't harbor any enmity toward your friend. You're not supposed to take revenge. Revenge means I remember what you did to me, but nevertheless, I'm not going to take revenge. And as the Torah is telling you, don't remember these things. Don't do that. Well, how can I live by these imperatives when they're really outside of my can, uh, outside of my possibilities. They don't depend upon my will. Well, there's a very interesting observation of Rabbi Alter. He was the Rebbe of Gur, the Gera Rebbe, as we used to say. And in Israel, there are many, many followers of him. He says the following, you know why we forget? Because we are thinking too much about ourselves. We are concentrated at all times in what we need, what we want, what we'll need tomorrow. We forget there is something else. And you know, so if you think too much about what you need, you forget about everything else. And I think that is so pertinent in our society today, when each and every one of us is pursuing happiness, pursuing things for himself, whether they're material or otherwise. And we forget about the necessities of other people. So think about it. Maybe you should stop thinking so much about what you need. Then you will leave a certain amount of space in your mind and your soul for the necessities of others.